I'm Rance Rob, and this week's marriage rule is all about sex. Who doesn't love sex? Everybody loves sex. I mean, have you ever heard somebody yell out in the crowd, I hate sex? Nope. But you know what I do hate? I do hate liver. Yuck. I hate okra. Yuck. I hate Fox News. I hate broke people. Especially broke people with bad attitudes. Especially broke people with bad attitudes who are ungrateful and they can never return the favor alone to use some money sometimes. You know what else I can't stand? Low maintenance women. I also can't stand the man who thinks that I'm looking at your low maintenance woman. Busted clothes, busted shoes, don't look like she really care about what she has on. And I mean really, look at the hair. Is she a natural or is that a natural? Cause I can't tell. Her curl pattern looked like Hurricane Katrina. That's why I was staring. I was scared. I couldn't tell if we had a weather watch going on by looking at what was on top of her dome. But in marriage, it's easy to get lazy with sex. Before you got married around your crib, it was like the uncensored version of the Blurred Lines video. Topless, a lot of dancing, a lot going on. You had to actually warn your friends about calling before they came over to the crib. Now you need to call before you come over because you might see some stuff that might change your life and it might mess you up forever. Seriously, call next time. But after you say I do, that's when you really expect things to be like the uncensored version of the Blurred Lines video. But this time it's directed by Hugh Hefner. I mean, let's keep it real. Life gets busy, work gets crazy. And then after so long, you catch kids. <sighs> With the crazy day to day, you get so busy, you so tired. A lot of the effort, it goes straight out the window. It goes straight out the window, kind of like the effort people put into Black History Month. If you treat your married sex life the way that America, the U.S. school system, Arizona, and just people in general treat Black History Month, then somebody's getting the short end of the stick, or no stick at all. What do you mean by this? I can hear you asking me that. But it's funny how every single February, we know exactly who the Black History heroes are going to be. Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks. Malcolm X, and even George Washington Carver, and he's nuts. And then when it's time for some action, you can probably guess what positions y'all gonna be in. <sighs> Let's do some missionary. Huh, did you just wanna do some doggy style? Or is she just on top? Did you just fall asleep while we was doing it? It's funny how Black History Month is the shortest month, and lazy married couples have the shortest sex. I mean, every session can't be a quickie. In the same way that 20 minutes out of four weeks is not enough time to teach people in general about the contributions that blacks have added to this country is the same way that sex sample packets will not be fulfilling to your spouse. And eventually they're gonna run off to another restaurant looking for a bigger meal. You dig? What I'm saying is that it takes time and effort to build something with some substance and get good results. Effort is everything and it takes effort on both parts. Man, we can't complain about how she's serving up the plate if we ain't do nothing to help season what she's putting on the plate in the first place. And women, you can't complain about his cutability if all you're doing is serving him soup. Don't you want some meat to go with this? You got to give them something to use them utensils on. You feel me? And so the solution is to talk to each other regularly about sex. That's what you have to do. This is not a one night stand. You know each other. You can discuss it. You do not have to guess. So don't. These are the marriage rules. So follow them. That's all you got to do. And then come back next week. Share this video. Subscribe. You know the routine. Do the whole deal. Uh, until next week, I'm Rance Rob, and I will see you. Peace.